My favorite tweet ever might be this one that popped up today. Where Dr. Unks tweeted, who is at Mason Clark and why do I want to be him? It's just such a fucking good tweet. Chalice Eaton. Thought this was Doom Scar for a half second. I lost my mind. Yeah, let's keep this hand. I don't know. It's not a great hand, but... No, I don't have that card in your deck. Uh, not a control deck. Luminar Gaspin, the nerf feeling it here. Holy cow. They have the key to the archive in their deck. Draw three cards, then discard two cards unless you basically land. I think I might go to this key of the archive. Yeah, the opponent's living my dream. Uh, maybe I wasn't supposed to go to the key because I had this that gets rid of those. But it being like in two turns, it's kind of awkward. I'm having a weird thing happen where I'm like, is that a real magic card? A bunch when I look at my opponent's cards. Because I just haven't played a whole lot of standards, so there's a bunch of things I'm just not knowing. They're gonna do the thing where they kill all but two. I, I mean, like, this does stop the board. Is this an instant? Believe it or not, I'm gonna try and kill you. And these hopeful initiates are all lethal. Why isn't Quicken in Historic? That's another card I think about a lot. Our opponent's deck is pretty weak to all of those cards. This might be a little lacking. And this card sucks. Yo, this card's so sick. You just, like, fill your hand with them and just keep playing. Yeah, it's very frustrating for sure, but it's so sick. You ever do something like quicken uh, <laughs> some medium card? Well, yeah, it was, it was everyone's favorite. Didn't they all love it? Sure, sure, sure. Yo, this card's so sick. Like, this in Historic with Collective Company, it's just like, what? Quick and Cruise, yeah. God, that card is so sick. Just Collective Company for two creatures. You just never miss. You don't get to choose, but you never miss. It's like, what? You know, thing to kill this with? Faithful Mending. Oh. Uh, I think I want to name Holbreaker Horror. <laughs> just like make it uncastable. I guess actually if I name Multiverse, I just strand their hand. Sure. That's fine. That was kind of expected, to be honest. Oh, well, that's just convenient. It's a little more awkward. I'm gonna take. No, I gotta take this. Let's try. Yeah. Alright, faithful disciple. Give me a cart. Oh, sorry, it's when it dies. That's right. Ooh, topping? That's not nice. I hate when they top. So they're suspending or whatever it's called. I want to play this.
they had hit Behold the Multiverse, they definitely cast it there. So that's just a Doom Scar, yeah. It's another Doom Scar. Right, I'm gonna force it to be Doom Scar and not just let it be Multiverse on the cheap. That's multiverse on the cheap. They're gonna have a hard time. All right. Glorious anthem. <sighs> Come on, spellbinder. I also misread this card. So you actually do want one, so you can hit ones and two. So my deck needs more one drops in it, so I can actually. It's still insane though. Like instead of playing two cigars, I play that card. Like that card's still messed up, but. Let's go, Jaffer. Jaffer's playing playing mono green. I was in their stream yesterday. They're another streamer. Very nice. Met them in Vegas. Let me put back this faceless haven and fucking cry when we never hit a land. Hello. Oh, I knew they were a mono green. This card's so sick. So you haven't seen it. Spells cast from among cards you drew this turn cost one less, and spells they cast off the top cost one more. Or cards they drew. Just like you ever top deck the perfect card? No, you didn't. <laughs> so sick. Like imagine if we drew the captain that turn. Like you know, it's just so awesome. <laughs> The Grizzle. So they get to get. No, they didn't. It's a 4 3 for 3. Gotcha. <laughs> oh! This is what we're talking about! <laughs> and then I get to put this into play. Uh, uh, uh. Look at this unnatural growth. It's gonna get a little eaten for forever. <laughs> I mean, maybe we want to maul the Skyclave in our deck. Maybe that's when we won the 75. Yo, the captain, my captain. Are you a top decker? You should play the captain. Captain Eberhardt never misses. Look, they drew the wolf. <laughs> they want to play the wolf so they can draw more cards and do more things. And now it just costs more. It just, like, throws off everything. <laughs> like, imagine... If they had like the wolf already in hand and they drew the moose, right? And the moose was a good play, it just like turns it off. It's, it's high variance, sometimes it doesn't do anything, but it is super sick. It's so awesome. Well, I kind of just want to trade, I think, because they're running sort of low. And we've got this, so if we draw a land. Ah! Oh, guess what I drew again? I'm sorry, Jeff. <laughs> oh, I'll take that brutal Cathar. <laughs> But like, okay, so he plays like a body this turn, right? If I get to play this and just tap an attack. So this is currently seven. They block this, they take Three, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Because this blocks this. Yeah, yeah, it is eleven. Okay. Double strike. Let's go. 
Oh, wait, we have Redain. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> okay. So some of these probably don't make the cut. Like, this card's kind of just a filler. This on the draw, I think, is much worse, so we're cut them completely. I guess Thalia kind of sucks, too. I guess I'd rather have the 1-1 one, one double strike over a Thalia. Portable Hole is kind of awkward. I just want this double strikey friend. I was thinking Portable Hole for, like, these sort of mirrors. It's unclear. I should probably put back the, the captain. It might just be this card. The problem is, is this card makes almost all of our draws playable off the top. Can I actually just be put Adelaine back? Because if we like can, you know, if we get stuck or whatever, these kind of take over. Yo, my God, I love that doggy. <laughs> he actually replied to my tweet about the dog and was like, oh, I want to put more on my deck. The dog is so good. The dog is one of the best cards in the whole set. That's like not me memeing or whatever. That's just true. I think I'm supposed to play this. It might, it might open up double spells or something. Blizzard Brawl. Honestly, pretty, pretty okay with that exchange. They didn't level up. They must be playing a two drop post combat. All right, I'll, t I'll check. What, what do we have in our hand? Do we have like an inscription of abundance? Or did we just make a little oopsie poopsie? Oh, we had snake skin veil. Oh, I'm gonna take the Wolvenwald. We, we can battle through the snake skin. It felt like they're supposed to level up there and just kind of hit a little harder, but maybe they're not. Like on this turn, I think you kind of want to level up, but I, I guess you don't have to. If I top deck a land, we're in a great spot. Nerf, Nerf Luminarch Aspirant in this spot, kind of the same. <laughs> They level up now? Yeah. All right. Inquisitor Captain. Holy shit. Imagine if we had mana floating in the late game. Uh, this thing has lifelink? So they make it uh, seven with this. I think I'm okay trading like this. Because they'll lose the snakeskin veil, they'll develop something and we can just brutal cathar it. And if they wanna level it up, they can level it up. Oh, they had inscription of abundance. Oh, that was bad for me. Right, we need one more land, because then we can get Brutal Cathar plus Faithful Absence. Yeah, maybe not taking this Snakeskin Veil was really stupid. I have to block like this, right? I guess I can walk block like this. Blocking like that's really bad. Block like this. Then I die. Because they go... Oh, they don't have enough mana because it's four mana, yeah. They can pump it up 
And I go to one. But they pump it to push damage and I get to Brutal Cathar. Luckily we drew the Redain, so it makes the like force in her tap. God, the fact the puppy makes it trampling on its own too is just so insane. Yeah, I guess they just have no incentive to do that. They just get to sit there. Yeah, it has it has vigilance, trample, six plus one plus one counters. They can turn any card into other cards. They could go go grab snakeskin veils. Yeah, I guess I don't get to know what the cards are, huh? Could you imagine how sick it would be? If we just had land in play, and I played this, and they snakeskin veiled, and we faithful absenced, and then we took their best card from their hand and made it cost way more. Holy shit. Ah, they got Ulvenwald oddities. So they, these are on their sideboard. Interesting. The Ulvens are so odd. Okay. And I am a narcissist. Fun fact chat, right now, we are where I played my Pro Tour. I'm living it. Play the game, see your room. <laughs> yeah, in the Tesla. Do you have an inscription of abundance, friend? Was the puppy gonna try and get me? Oh, it's double inscription. Double. Ooh. Kinda wanna take the snakeskin veil. It was such a fucking problem last time, and if they don't draw a land off the top, it's like kind of great. Snakeskin veil costing three is just like. A lot more than things can be costing one. Yeah, I want to put it on this. Yeah. Because that would be inscription abundance. They didn't inscription abundance before. Wow. That is interesting. The inscription there, then they get to fight for sure and kill the Luminar Gasprint. Like, so in that spot, it was kind of a sixes, right? Because, like, if I attack, they put the counter on it. Um, but. So this is actually two bodies, and this is gonna be a tap thing. What is their plan? I'm gonna attack for four and see if they have something. Then play Redain. So now all their lands are gonna enter tapped. And then I'll put the counter on Redain. That way they don't... They have to Inscription now so they can draw four so they can Blizzard Brawl the Redain down. Yeah. Which I think they were supposed to do last turn, but are they going to target the Luminarch? Sure, sure. Now that they don't have Blizzard Brawl anymore, I'm going to kick this thing. Uh, it's just so hard to come back with the Redain. I win now. Because this taps. And then I'll do this when they try and fight. No. Oh. Okay. games, Jeffer. Kind of unfortunate game three there, but not the worst we've ever seen. This, uh... I don't know what the song's called. It's In the End. Feels like it is. Because it kind of hit at the right time, right? And AMVs have kind of 
And they're still there, but they're like, not what they were. Whew. Whenever one or more creature attacks, you may have target attacking creature gain double strike. Yeah, I'll take that one. Oh, sure, sure, sure. That's pretty awesome. The Rahil does so good. All right, let's, let's try and hit uh, whatever it's called. Brutal Cathar. Maybe we can hit Adelaine too. That like clogs the board up pretty hard. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. No. That sucks, homie. I'm so sorry. Also, this sucks. Uh, how did they get this in play? Oh, yeah, because of the Magda. Oh, we are in trouble. Oh, we are in trouble. Jump block. We can just duelist heritage. I kind of actually just want to attack for three. Cause it's got vigilance first. Maybe that was bad. I was thinking I wanted to do this and just stop them from curving. Holy cow! All right. Is it safe to play mentor and legacy anymore? Yeah, I don't know if it is. <laughs> Why are they not buffing up Helena if they didn't block? This thing has reach? <gasps> <gasps> I can't read. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. <laughs> It's all right, the Evangel will take us to the moon. Oh, this thing has double strike. Decline. Yo, the Inquisitor Captain, is that live in their deck? It's gotta be close to live, right? Okay, all right, we win, we win. Yo, look at this card. Just undoing day night instantly. And being blocker. Yeah, so we cut the two Thalias for the two Fateful Absence. Uh, then we cut one Portable Hole, one Thalia. No, I'm not an OG Kanye fan. It's a BB, what's a BTTV emote? What's B B Bad Boys Titch Television? Better Twitch TV? Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a Google extension? Ah, oh, I gotcha. Whoa. How's your night been going, Amanda? Uh, let's take this smashing. It's funny, our, <laughs> our Luminarch Aspirant triggering in the instep hasn't mattered yet, but it definitely should. Oh, wow, that's brutal. I forgot about that card. <laughs> oh, hate that. All 
I think we're supposed to actually take Luminarch Aspirin here. Bard class does a pretty good job of undoing that 1-1. One, one. The Snakeskin Veil makes it kind of hard to put it on this thing. But if I put this here, then they can't, like, Shadow Skull Smashing for 1 this. Lost 51 LP, then 25. Holy shit, 51 is so brutal. Alright, they turned it into a land pre-combat? What the fuck? No block. It's a pack tactic card, right? Yeah, oh, because they want to double it, maybe, if I blocked? Wait, why does this not cost... Oh, because it cost green red last year. Uh, Bard. Sorry. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to do that on the upkeep, right? So I stop a green mana. Because that stops us from doing that. That was bad. That's what's bad. No shot they double, right? He said no shot they double. Oh, this card can tap lands too. Oh. So last time I was supposed to tap the green. I'm learning. I'm thriving. Tap that enchantment. Dang, that's brutal. Wow, that was a good draw. Do I attack? If I attack, it's so awkward. Yeah, this attack is sus, I agree. I think we can just slow things down. I can put the counter on this, and then if they double this, I guess it doesn't actually matter that way. Yeah. We can actually slam with this on the next turn, and it'll be five. So it's four mana, so they can actually still do it. Yeah. I think I want to get this big, though. Because right now, if they, like, attack, we can, like, block. Oh, I guess that's why we should put the counter on it, so we force the double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's That was the play, yeah. Because we do that, we force the dubs. And then we can counterattack with this. Holy shit. We need a Brutal Cathar now. Can you put this on this, then you put six there. You can put four here. Okay, that thing's big, we agree. Little chump. So they can double the toughness so I can't even like if we draw another Intrepid Adversary, we're going to probably win. This is a moment where end of turn matters a lot. I can attack with both. And I go to nine. This thing, I have to get chump blocked. So I can't actually attack with both. I can attack with one, though. We can trade for both these. So... I have to block this here. They put this here, and I have to block, so I should put the counter here. Because this is the only thing that's living. Because if they stack counters here... Or, oh, yeah, because it's going to get plus one, so I'm going to have to block. Yeah, so I should just put the thing here. 
So that, yeah, if I draw another Intrepid, then I'll gain more life and now put me in the best spot to win the game. Yo, this is making the next card cost one more? What if it matters? This is also a 3-3 double strike. It's kind of huge. If we draw the Inquisitor Captain... Dang. I mean, they're currently dead if they attack with more than just the 8-8. Eight eight. And so then at that point, they have to attack all. They can't attack with two, yeah. I think being a 5-6 fucking brutal. Be careful in the Everhearts. I, th I, th I think it's good, but it, if you have a lot of Mythics, then you know. You know. What is this? Whenever you... <gasps> My Double chump? How is that for a draw? <laughs> Yeah. Single, by the way. <laughs> you know. So I can put this here? Because these are both lethal. Well, I guess this one won't be lethal if this dies. But now they have to pump it? Yeah. Let's go! Ah, oh, I'm on the way! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Alright, that was an awesome one. And that's 424. All right. 